Hello fellow murderers. Today is Sunday, March 17th, 2024, and it's a great day to solve murder and also happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. Today we have Deductive Logico solves the mystery of the dead Inspector Iratino, and looks like we've got three six by six grids today. Sunday puzzles are often a bit longer, often a bit trickier, so if you're struggling with this one, don't worry, it's not you, it's just a trickier puzzle because it's Sunday. Tomorrow's puzzle is going to feel a lot gentler and a lot more within your reach if you're just new to the game. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the type of puzzle we have. So we do have this red murder clue here. Um, Inspector Iratino's body was found at a great place for a photograph. So I think I know where this is, but I'm just gonna check it anyway. Um, so we are at, like, this is like the luxury prison, I think. Um, so we've had a few, uh, few games here recently. It's one of the places for the larger games. So we have the movie theater, the guard tower, which is a great photo opportunity for the prisoner. So that is where our murder took place today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in for the where, the guard tower. And again, we found that out because we saw that it's a great place for a photograph. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and review our suspects. We have today, Senior Emerald, Silverton the Legend, Miss Saffron, Officer Copper, Earl Grey, and Lady Violet. The weapons today are a diamond encrusted skeleton key, a pair of leather gloves, a poisoned birthday cake, a rope of designer clothes, a gold watch, and a lawyer. Um, the places again are the movie theater, guard tower, spa, Michelin starred cafeteria, tennis court, and the private suite. So let's go ahead and dive into our clues and evidence. A $5,000 bill for 20 minutes of work was found wet. Okay, so this is one where I'm relying a little bit on my knowledge of the game, but I want to explain why. Um, so the spa, you'll see this final clue here, everything here is wet. So when you see clues like this when you're in this location, um, you know that if it's wet, it's in the spa. So that's the location we're dealing with. And the bill, I know that's going to be the lawyer. Um, you're going to get an incredibly expensive bill. So again, I got there because I've played games uh, or Myrtles within this like universe here. However, I would just encourage you if that doesn't stick out to you, you just flip through these and you can see a lot of information in this body text here that tells you more about the clue. So for now, $5,000 bill, found wet, so we've got a lawyer as the weapon and the location was the spa. I'm just going to mark that in and also mark the corresponding X's in the intersecting lines. And we can move on to the next clue. A rope of designer clothes was discovered next to a king size bed. So this one, we know what the weapon is, a rope of designer clothes. And then the location, I'm pretty sure, is the private suite. King size bed, yes. Okay. So we know that weapon was in that location. So similarly, we're going to be working this grid. So here's the designer clothes and the private suite. Great. Officer Copper had a medium weight weapon. So for this, we need to go to our weapons. We see that the diamond encrusted skeleton key was lightweight. The leather gloves were lightweight. The birthday cake is medium weight, so that could be it, but we need to keep checking. Okay, the rope of designer clothes was also medium weight. Gold watch and yes, okay. So we have three clues that could be the answer here, which means we don't really know much other than what it, you know, what it must be. It must be one of these three, but we don't know what it is. So what we can do, since this is assigned to Officer Copper, we can say, we can put question marks here. Um, right, it was just these three right in a row, yep. And we can say though that Officer Copper did not have the heavyweight weapon or either the lightweight weapons. Okay. Senior Emerald was lugging around a heavyweight weapon. Okay, so that one we know right away. We just looked at the weights. We know that Senior Emerald has the only heavyweight weapon, which is the lawyer. So that also means that we know where Senior Emerald was. And that is in the spa. We can go ahead and mark that in as well for Senior Emerald. Okay, great. A white hair was found on the tennis court. Okay, so we know the where. That's going to be the tennis court, of course. 
And so now we need to look for suspects with white hair. We've got black hair, silver hair, blonde hair, blonde hair, and white hair for Earl Grey. So Earl Grey was on the tennis courts. I should double check Lady Violet, blonde hair. Okay, great. <laughs> I just realized I went a little too too fast on that one. Um, okay, the shortest suspect was seen with a poisoned birthday cake. So now we flip through the suspects again. We're looking at their heights. So 5'8", 6'4", 5'2", 5'5", 5'9", 5 feet. Okay, so that is Lady Violet, seen with a poisoned birthday cake. Um, Miss Saffron's 5'2", and Lady Violet is just 5 feet even. So, Poison Birthday Cake, Lady Violet. And that also means that we're one step closer to knowing the weapon that Officer Copper had, because now one of the three that were possible is now not possible, because that was assigned to Lady Violet. Okay. Alright, we have a fingerprint clue. I love these. Oops, I meant to click on this. Um, okay, so we're looking for the image below that matches that that design. That's ooh trickier than normal. Officer Copper and Earl Grey look very similar, but I'm seeing here it's definitely Earl Grey. Um, so okay, we can say that was Earl Grey's fingerprint with a poison birthday cake. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. The skeleton key. Oof. Okay, so now we know where Earl Grey was and what weapon was assigned to Earl Grey. So we can say that the weapon was also in the tennis courts. So that gives us kind of two pieces of information there. All right. Okay. Um. Okay, so beside a non-GMO something found was found beside, and let's see, we've got, oh, um, something glove. Well, we know we've got leather gloves, so let me just look at the gloves here. Cowhide. Cowhide glove was found beside a non-GMO dinner. Yeah, okay, a cowhide glove was found beside a non-GMO dinner. Okay, so we know, um, again, I'm using a little bit of past info, but we know this, um, the Michelin-starred cafeteria claims to have non-GMO, um, so we can say cowhide glove in the Michelin-starred cafeteria. If you're stuck on the anagrams, like I was there for a second, um, try to see if you can find any particular words that, you know, stand out or look familiar. And then what I did there was, I was stuck on this, I was like looking for the CH and not really coming up with anything. Um, so what I did was I was looking back at the clues here, the clue cards, and um, the leather piece reminded me that this could be cowhide. So that's kind of how I made that connection. Of course, you can always go to Google and like throw in the uh, anagram and you know try to solve it that way. But um, I always recommend checking out the clue cards first because usually there's a little hint. All right, Miss Saffron was seen hanging around beneath the cushions of a velvet seat. So again, I know that's the movie theater. Velvet seats. That was the anagram last week, and that one took me a long time. Um, okay, so Miss Saffron was in the movie theater. Okay. And the body was found in the guard tower. And we don't have any information about that yet. Okay, we must be missing some things, so I'm going to go through and see what we can find from our existing clues and evidence. Oh, 
Okay, I did find something we were missing here. Um, because we know that Lady Violet had the birthday cake, um, and we have a few more clue locations. So for the tennis courts, um, you know, we have the, the key. Um, for the, um, the rope made of designer clothes, we have the, um, the get or the private suite. And what was the other one? Oh, the Michelin starred cafeteria. Because we have those um, pieces of information and we do have Lady Violet's item, we know that she couldn't have been in those other locations. So I, what I was able to do was kind of cross a few more of these out and now we can say Lady Violet was in the guard tower. So that does reveal our murderer today. I'm just going to take another few seconds and finish filling out our grid. Okay, there's our grid all filled out. Basically what I did was I was just looking, I started with the Michelin starred cafeteria, and I was looking to see the only two suspects could have been um, the ones remaining to assign the leather gloves to, I believe. And I think it was these two, um, Silverton the Legend and Miss Saffron. But then when I looked down, only one of them could have been in the cafeteria, and that was Silverton the Legend. So that allowed me to fill in that piece, and that kind of put every other piece into place like dominoes. So. There's our grid all set, ready to go. And of course, we did reveal our murderer as Miss Violet, or Lady Violet, rather. Um, so Lady Violet with a poison birthday cake in the guard tower, which of course we found from the very first clue. So let's go ahead and make our accusation, see if we're right. All right, you're right. Thanks so much for playing along today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.